Let's make an autumn leaf painting. First thing you're gonna do is write your name and your teacher's name on the back of your paper. Don't worry about writing it anywhere specific, just where I can see it. We're gonna take texture plates today to add our leaf shapes. Make sure that you're using the part of the texture plate where the design comes out instead of in. You're gonna take a black crayon and turn it on its side. We don't wanna use the tip for this. On its side, you're gonna rub in one direction, back and forth, until all the details of the leaf show up on your paper. You're gonna do this four times. I chose to do four different leaf shapes, but that's up to you as the artist. You wanna make sure you put them on your paper in a spot where they're gonna have plenty of room that shows the whole design of the leaf. We don't want any of them getting cut off or overlapped because we're gonna collage these later and we're gonna cut them out. You can go over the texture plate as many times as you need to to make sure that your details are nice and dark for when we start painting. That way we'll be able to see all the details that we need to fill in. As soon as you're done with your texture, then we can start filling in with paint. Today we're using watercolor paint, and to make this paint work, we have to get our brush wet first. You can use any technique you want, but what I like to do here is add a lot of water so that I can blend my colors. We're using colors today that remind us of fall, like red, orange, yellow, green, and brown. I think that the more colors you mix together, the more interesting your leaf pattern will be. Here, I'm even experimenting with dropping different colors over some wet colors that I've already put on my paper. If you wanna mix colors to make a new color, you can do that on your paper. Don't mix them in the tray. Whenever you're using one color, you need to wash your brush before you start using another color so that it doesn't get dirty for the next person. We want to make sure we leave our colors as they are in the tray and mix them only on our paper. If you mix a color that you don't love, you can always soak it up with a paper towel and paint over it. Just have fun putting your colors together and trying different techniques. Next week, when these are dry, we'll cut our leaf shapes out and collage them onto a background using colors that remind us of water, like blues and purples. Make sure that you're filling in all your details and have fun painting. 